What's going on guys? I'm back with the Marvel's Avengers video and today I'm going to be going over this week's dev stream play with the devs number nine. Of course we got some information regarding the Tachyon Anomaly event release date which is supposed to be announced next week along with other things as well you know potentially earning credits in patrol mode and new Hulk and Hawkeye outfit next week and stuff like that. Other than that let's get right into the video. Getting right into it, as you see, a new blog is coming next week on Tachyon Anomaly. And as you see right there in the middle is a new look at Tachyon Anomaly. So you can see that there are four Ms. Marvels. So yeah, it looks really cool. Pretty interesting to see, you know, how this is going to play out and what kind of crazy stuff you can pull off with the same characters. Over here, you see a possible sneak peek at animated nameplates next week. So that's going to be pretty cool to see. Moving on is a chat by Thanos Almighty in response to CD Phil that says any chance for Beta Ray Bull outfit for Thor and a response to that was it could happen. Another question asked in the chat was by Facehunter676 and it says have you seen some Black Panther combat and the response from CD Phil was yes I have it's awesome. I'm sure his combat is going to be amazing since I honestly think that the combat of this game is one of the main highlights of it so yeah it's going to be great. Moving on, it says step one of a cosmetic rework might come in the Tachyon Anomaly patch. I couldn't hear if Andy said will or might. My audio is buggy. But yeah, so supposedly they're talking about breaking it down step by step into releasing the cosmetic rework. So yeah, we're just going to have to wait and see how that all works out. One more question from the chat is from Shrek Year 2 for TVD. Is any chance we can make the Jarvis barrier like the Nanite barrier that Hawkeye has? It would make gameplay a lot more smoother. And the response to that was send that feedback to the combat team. Going up, it says Tachyon Anomaly release date will also be announced next week. So that's something to look forward to. Scrolling up, it says they're looking into making Mega Highs quote unquote less of a chore while still keeping it rewarding. So hopefully it means they like reduce the floors, reduce how many missions we had to play through. I think that would be for the best at least. An interesting one, it says that we might be able to earn credits as rewards for Wastelands patrols. Phil says no promises, but he's trying to do it. I think that would be great if there was a way to earn credits while doing missions. So hopefully it all goes well and it does happen. The final thing to end it off is a new Hulk and Hawkeye outfit is next week, plus the remaining aerospace outfits. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, who knows what the outfits could be. Hopefully it's something cool. Um, I know we already got a bunch of Iron Man skins already. And so it's nice getting, you know, at least a Hulk outfit at least. So um, yeah, that's pretty much going to cover it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, as always, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.